welcome to your market update. Okay, interesting day ahead, most definitely. Let's see how markets, after a bit of a doji candlestick here yesterday, let's see how we behave today. It's going to get really interesting because if we can get some type of rally, and what I've done here, I've taken, do you remember that symmetry I used from here to here to here to here, which caught this, now this is much more advanced trading. If you're a brand new beginner on our, if you're on our beginner's course, you're going to be thinking, what is he doing? But we teach this type of stuff on our advanced trade, how to spot the um, symmetry and the key reversals. Now I'm going to project it again, use it to down here. What I've done, let's get rid of that because I've drawn one earlier. If we get back up to this 1600 area, uh, 16,000, I'm going to be looking then to get into a new short trade. Um, so I'm watching that really carefully today, okay? Uh, Apple came out with, with earnings last night, which were disappointing. I'm not sure, I beg your pardon, I don't know whether the, app, uh, the owners are disappointed, but the actual reaction was down like 18 bucks. They were down quite a bit uh, after after um, after hours last night on uh, on earnings report. Okay, so putting a bit of pressure on the Nasdaq in here. Let's take a look at Apple, see what it's actually doing. Wow, I mean that's a big, I mean that, there's Apple share price guys, look at that. I mean that could put severe pressure on the Nasdaq, all right, look at that. Um, wow, that is a big gap down. Forty-three bucks, nearly fifty dollars in here. All right, so going back to what I was talking about on, on the Dow, if I can get back up to this um, symmetry area, it is a good area to initiate new shorts. All right, so we are pushing up quite nicely on the open. It's looking okay. Things are starting to push higher. We've certainly sold off considerably, um, and I think we are certainly a due. Just be a little bit patient. Let's see if we can get it back up there and then initiate some new short trades. S&P 500, pretty much the same thing, guys. I'm going to project it down here, take it to here, and um, you know we're back just in front of that 200 period moving average, which will probably act as resistance. And also we've got some resistance up here, all right? So that's going to be a key. As a day trade, I'll be looking at these areas as well. I'll take some trades from my free money. Japanese yen, um, look at it, lovely at the moment. Came back down to the eight period moving average and we're holding there. We're still green on the system. So let's have a look at the VIX, the short term VIX, thank you. And the VIX is holding up quite nicely as well. So our market breadth indicator is looking okay. Um, let's take a look at the dollar. The dollar in here, we slammed straight back into the major moving averages. So what we're seeing here is um, the British pound, let's find cable, let's type that in. Uh, pushing higher here, looking like it wants to continue higher. That's, that's my favourite trade um, for the early part of 2014. Um, Aussie pushed higher here uh, on these major divergences. You know, not, let's not try and get brave yet with this, but looking at this, thinking we, we do, we are due certainly a push higher after such um, weakness over the last several months. The Euro USD holding is green, just bounced off those moving averages as well. That's a prime example. How moving averages act to support and resistance. See that became down there. I was actually doing a mentorship with one of the guys this morning, and we were looking at this 136.40 area as an area to bounce. And if you go down to your smaller time frame, look at my line, you know, right at it, 136.40, and we rallied all the way from there. Really nice trade, one of my lovely free money trade strategies that I like to use. Um, Euro yen, all right, so Euro yens. Uh, doesn't look great to the upside at the moment. Looks like we could get a continuation down if the yen wants to push higher. The USD Japanese yen, one of my favourites in here. And what I've drawn, we're doing this on the membership today, but I've drawn some symmetry as well, uh, a little bit lower at this 20 period moving average, okay, just around sort of here. And what I'm looking for, if this can get back up to these areas up here, all right, we're going to have this boomerang to roll over and go lower. So any rallies are shorting opportunities. We may have had that rally already today into those moving averages. Um, pound yen, obviously not as. Let's have a look at the pound yen because I was interested in that yesterday, or a, day, a few days ago, on that breakdown on the uh, aggressive boomerang strategy. But we're here. We're right into these moving averages. It's probably a Fibonacci 50% area, I would imagine. 
uh, right at that 50% on the fib. So as long as we don't close above that fib, we could potentially roll over it here. But I prefer the, the USD yen, I prefer the Euro yen to the downside. And let's have a look at the Swiss franc yen as well. You know, all looking like we could roll over and go lower. All right, so it's the yen. Now, yesterday we spoke about oil last night. Oil doing exactly what I thought it was doing, looking for it to break above these highs here, and I'm looking for oil to go higher. So it is officially breaking this 97.22 area. Let's have a look at it, get the official reading, official price, 97.18. So we're actually doing this, and it, you know, if we can get oil going higher above today and close above yesterday's price, we're going to get up to this $100 mark and higher. Okay, so looking really good, and the euro uh, the euro um, pound here slammed into those moving averages and that's one of our star trades from the scan club as well but still in play nothing really happening there um, looking at uh, let's have a look at gold gold down six bucks today uh, holding this support area and uh, this is one that needs just another day all right so I need another day on this Let's get a low OBS and down leg and uh, boomerang strategy firing off. Natural gas up, up and away again. Uh, pushing higher here on Navi Gas. All right, so not keen on gold just yet. Stock market, I want to see it go up and rally and then look for a reshort to the downside. Uh, USD Japanese yen, all right, I'm liking that to roll over and go lower. Um, Euro, Euro pound, looking for it to go lower as well. Yen, looking for it to hold. Oil, I'm looking for a breakout above. Uh, we've already had the breakout. Won't see it close for a push higher as well. Not many other markets, guys, uh, that I'm really concentrating on. Uh, otherwise, it's just a continuation here on the USD CAD. That's absolutely on fire here. Um, otherwise, it really is just sitting and waiting uh, and seeing um, what's uh, what's what's setting up. All right. Um, got our radar screen here and. Um, now we're pretty much really green. We've got some good green trades going off. We've also got our new boomerang long strategy radar screen set up. So gold is actually starting to fire a, a boomerang long trade uh, with the pro trading system. Uh, that's quite healthy. Um, otherwise, it's just I think just waiting another day. Or you know exactly how I want to play these stock markets, and um, that's pretty much uh, the outlook. All right, so. Speak to you soon, guys, and uh, speak to you on tomorrow night's webinar. Bye-bye now.